What is faith in God? Faith in the Lord means having confidence that God is good, that He is on your side, and that He is always working, even when you can't see it. When you pray for strong faith, you are praying for God to grant you spiritual strength. It is very important to pray for strength in the Lord. In the book of Ephesians, Paul wanted God to strengthen the Ephesians with power according to the riches of His glory. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, the Bible says, That according to the riches of His glory, He may grant you to be strengthened with power through His Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. The purpose of this divine strength is to know the love of Christ. A Christian life from start to finish is by faith. You are saved through faith. You please God through faith. After all, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 16 says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. You believe God's promises in the Bible through faith. To have strong faith in God is to believe that things will somehow turn out for the best. No matter what, scripture tells us that God is all powerful. It also tells us that God is good and wise and full of love. 1 Peter 5 says, Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time He may exalt you. To have strong faith in God, you need to keep your focus on God's glorious power. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 9, the Bible says, Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death, but that was to make us rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. You can have strong faith, immovable faith in God because He is good and loving. To have strong faith, focus on God's promises in God's words. God has promised to do certain things for you and in you, and your faith in God is based on these unbreakable, unchanging promises. Romans 10 verse 17 says, So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. In Philippians 1 verse 6, the Bible says, And I am sure of this, that he who begin a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. To have strong faith, focus on God's past faithfulness. God never changes. It is a guarantee that he will continue to be faithful in the future. To have strong faith, place your faith in God, which means we need to spend time getting to know him through the Bible and through prayer. Faith in God is built up over time and we build and grow in our relationship with Him. This faith in Him help us give thanks in the good times and the bad and to weather the storm of life. I believe and declare that I am born again, child of God. I am born again to the living Word of God that lasts forever. 1 Peter 1 verse 23 All my sins are forgiven and washed by the blood of Jesus. I am redeemed according to the riches of God's grace. Ephesians 1 verse 7 I am in Christ, therefore I am a new creature. My past is forgotten, though all things are gone, and everything is new. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 God has rescued me from the power of darkness, and He brought me into Jesus' kingdom. Colossians 1 verse 13 My flesh is crucified with Christ. I am not the one living now, but Christ is living in me. I live by faith in Christ, the Son of God. Galatians 2 verse 20 God chose me before the creation of this world through Christ. He chose me, loved me, and made me his child again. I am his possession. He brought me out of the darkness into this wonderful light. Ephesians 1 verse 4 to 6 I don't own my own body, for I am the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives within me. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 I am in Christ, and God claimed me as his property by giving me his Holy Spirit. Ephesians 1 verse 13 I am walking by the Spirit, and I declare that my flesh has no power over me. Galatians 5 verse 16 through 17 I trust in the Lord with all my heart and all my soul. I don't depend on my own knowledge and understanding. With every step I take, I will think about God's will in my life. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 My paths and my journey of this world are blessed because my hope is in the Lord. Jeremiah 17 verse 7 God is doing wonders in my life. I believe that He started something good in me and He will complete it on the day when Jesus Christ comes again. Philippians 1 verse 6 Jesus is in me and I will continue to live for Him. My strength and my hope is in Him and every day my faith in Him will grow stronger. 
Colossians 2, verse 6 through 7. I won't stop, but I will keep running as hard as possible to win the prize of eternal life that God promised me through Christ. Philippians 3, verse 14. All my steps are guided by the word of God. That is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119, verse 105. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I ask you to strengthen my mind, my body, and my spirit today. When I'm weary, may I be refreshed. When I'm worn, may I be renewed. When I'm broken, may I be restored. When I'm fearful, may I become faithful. I pray that I walk in complete confidence today knowing that the Lord Almighty is within me. Heavenly Father, as I arise today, I pray that your strength pallet me, your power upholds me, and your wisdom guide me. May your eye look before me, your hand protects me, and your shield defend me. Father, I thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit that is at work in me, guiding me in the path of truth. I'm establishing righteousness, steadfast and unmovable in the Lord. I am filled with the knowledge of God in all wisdom and discernment. To the Lord I stand on your word alone, and I shall not be moved by any situation I face. You are my rock and my salvation. I overcome temptation today by your word, and I declare that I am strong in you. Heavenly Father, I am as weak as lamb. I am tired and weary. I feel so very alone at times. My hope is losing its strength. My fear is beginning to stand in the way of my usefulness to you. Father, please hear my cry. Your word says, ask and you shall receive. Seek, you shall find. Knock and the door will open unto you. I believe in your word, Father, and I receive your word in the name of Jesus. Please lead me, guide me, and show me your ways. Lord, let me not take things into my own understanding. I am in need of shelter, employment. Please open doors of opportunity for me. Your word also says to be patient and wait on the Lord. I love you so much, Father, and I really need you. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Lord, grant me ten tenacious wisdom, courage as I go through this day. When I am tempted to give up, help me to keep going. Grant me a cheerful spirit when things don't go my way. And give me courage to do whatever needs to be done in Jesus' mighty name. Touch me, O Lord, and fill me with your light and hope. Please give me strength when I ask. I am weak, love when I feel forsaking. Courage when I'm afraid. Wisdom when I feel foolish. Comfort when I am alone. Hope when I feel rejected. And peace of mind when I am in turmoil. Heavenly Father, I surrender every area of my mind, my will and emotions to you today. I choose to dwell in your goodness and faithfulness so that the good seeds you have planted in my life will take root. Keep me close to you and direct my step down the good path you have prepared for me. I believe Jesus gave his life for me. He told me I will not die but live because he has given me eternal life. So today I declare that I am no longer a slave to sin because I have the everlasting life of Jesus Christ. Jesus loved me so much that he gave his life for me and I am certain his sacrifice of love will help me live in his nature. I pray that the nature of flesh dies daily in his love always. I pray that my spirit will align with your spirit so that I may worship and reverence you in splendor of your majesty. I have come to the understanding through the scriptures that the true worshipers must worship you in spirit and truth. I ask for the grace to adore you according to the knowledge of your spirit in me. I ask that I may forever be a carrier of your spirit to give you that acceptable worship you deserve. Lord Jesus, I pray this day that I am dead to the life I lived before you came to my life. You told me all things are passed away, and so I uttered this word of affirmations so that I'm no longer moved by the desire of the past. I receive freedom from every guilt of my old life because I am now a carrier of a new life. I am controlled by the new life, eternal life. My past has nothing to do with me anymore because Jesus has made me new. Thank you, Jesus. Father, you said in your word that my heart will be where my treasure is. I pray, Lord, that you will help my heart to be focused on the kingdom. Lord, I pray that my heart will not lose the heavenly treasure that you have laid in store for my diligence in seeking you. Today, my heart will be set apart for you alone, Lord. Lord, when my heart is depressed, confused, or overwhelmed with issues, help me. Give me the grace to other words of faith through prayer. 
You have said in your word, pray without ceasing. So Lord, teach me to pray until prayer becomes my lifestyle. Father, speak your word to my weary soul this day. Let your word accomplish its purpose for my weary soul. Let my soul blossom in your word. Let your word come to manifestation in my life. Lord Jesus, pray for me just as you pray for Peter. Let me by the power of your resurrection and strength defeat the power activity of the flesh nature in me. Let me not play the role of a fool and the ignorance of the flesh. I have come before you, Lord, motionless and speechless. Let my soul chant the language of heaven. Make intercession for me, Lord, through your eternal spirit. Help me to other words of prayer that my intellect and emotions can generate. This is my prayer, Lord. Father, help me to always acknowledge the truth about your life and help me to have more faith in you. Give me the grace to identify that you are the truth and it is only you who can make me free. Help me to be true to my process of building. Lord, don't let the deception of the enemy carve a room in my heart. I receive grace to believe in your direction because your direction is my secret place and safety. Lord Jesus, I come to you to request your favor. You are all I desire, God, and I follow the path of truth. You are my strength and wisdom. I trust not in my intellect, my family, or my wealth. Please let me be privileged to obtain favor in your sight. Lord, favor me with your angelic presence and let me be a carrier of grace unmerited in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you will reveal the mystery of the kingdom to me in Jesus' name. Father, give me the grace to obey you so that I can be blessed from generation to generation, just as you blessed Abraham after he listened to your voice of direction. Lord, I pray that you will help me to take the necessary step that leads me to enjoy unlimited favor for myself and my family. Lord, help me to find favor in your sight. Let my life attract blessing, grace, and wisdom. Love, give answer to my weary soul. Do not allow me to be left out on your unlimited favor. Lord, visit me with your favor. Lord, I pray that the work of my hand is established in your favor. Lord, I pray that you will bless the work of my hands at all costs. Cast your eye of favor upon everything I lay my hands on and enlarge my course, Lord Jesus. Father, do not allow me to embark on anything that will take away from your favor. Lord, help me to always listen to your teachings. Open my ears to hear your words so that I may be favored in everything I do. Father, break every protocol for me just as you broke protocol for Queen Esther. Open doors of opportunity for me, Lord, where I least expect it. Father, I pray that you will not give sleep to my helper, just as the king couldn't sleep until he honored Mardukai. Lord, I pray that you remember me for good in Jesus' name. Father, bless me with your presence so that everywhere I go will be blessed for my sake. Lord, I pray that my glory will shine in a strange land and I will rule over them. Father, let your favor finish me out of the wilderness just as you singled out David from among his brethren. Lord, enrich me with your oil of honor and grace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.